It's Dave Wyman from Lumen Field. Just finished up second Seahawk uh, preseason game. Uh, Seahawks win 22 to 14. And let's just talk about the guys that stood out. Uh, Trey Brown, I thought last week, had a good game, but he didn't finish on a couple of plays. And he ends up with an interception and made, made some really good plays. Um, Tyreek Smith, um, he was the guy that I was talking a lot about last year. He never played, but um, he, is, he had a sack tonight. And he also made a bunch of other plays along with another outside linebacker, two others actually, um, Oye Mafe. It's just all over the place, and he had a great night. And same thing with uh, with Derek Hall. So Derek Hall is a really strong, you know, good pass rusher. So they're getting those guys out there. Clint Hurt, um, sort of, he, he talked about Tyreek Smith in that rotation with Uchenna, and then also um, you know Tyreek Smith and Derek Hall and and uh, you know Daryl Taylor also. So I mean, you got really five guys there. To, with different pass rush styles coming off the edge, so that'll be really interesting to see. But yeah, it was a it was a good good win for for the Seahawks. That Drew Locke looked really good in that game, and uh, yeah, so it was uh, Charbonnet had. I thought what impressed me the most is he had a blitz pickup block that was really good that allowed the Seahawks to pick up a big gain. So. It's, it's tough for running backs coming out of college. They typically are not good blockers just because they're not used that way in college. So um, yeah, that was, uh, that was really uh, good to see him pick up a block and then have some good runs and catches and whatnot. So yeah, I think the Seahawks are, are looking a lot better defensively. I think they're going to attack the line of scrimmage. Um, let's see, Cowboys only ended up with uh, a 3.6 yard average, 94 yards. They'd like to get, you know, give up less than that, but I think that that's gotten fixed. So we're going to see what happens with uh, playing time and things like that going into next week. The big cut down is going to be after the Green Bay game, but right now it looks like they're going to have some really tough decisions as far as cut down at corner and also at outside linebacker, defensive end slash you know uh, edge rusher. So. Uh, they're in pretty good shape right now, very young, but this is a team that uh, I think a lot of people around the league are, are taking notice because it's young, they're young, they're fast, and they've got a lot of really good football players.